unless the grain of wheat falls to the ground and die itself, it remains alone. But if it dies, it will bring fruit in hundredfold. John 12, 24 God, in and through the Holy Spirit, inspired many holy men and women to form congregations whose members would resemble the prophets of the time to reach out to the lost, least and the last. So was the case of our founder, Father Antonius Maria Bonnet, who inspired with the gospel message of love, compassion and healing, and being guided by the Holy Spirit, founded the congregation of Missionary Sisters of the Queen of the Apostles, the SRA, Sororum Regina Apostolorum. For the Antonius Maria Bordi had a strong urge to evangelize India, especially Banaras. He was moved by the plight of women and children beside the social evils faced by Indian system through poverty, illiteracy, child marriage, male domination, and Sati Sahagama. For the Bordi gave himself totally for the upliftment and development of these people in whom he saw Christ the Lord. Today, being his followers, we the SRA sisters render our dedicated and committed service by venturing into the fields where the need is great. As we reach out through various ministries like Proclamation of the Word of God, Catechetical, Social Pastoral, Educational, Developmental and Healing Ministry towards irrespective of caste, creed and race. Let us ask grace from the Lord to assist us in all that we do. In 2023, we will be celebrating our centenary. Let us welcome the centenary with a spiritual renewal, concentrating on the themes based on the centenary celebration. Let us invoke the Holy Spirit of grace to be our wisdom to teach us faith, to be our understanding in all our doubts, to be our strength against all temptations, to be our knowledge to fulfill our vocation and to be our godliness in all our actions. May God's presence be with us always. May He keep us safe and grant us the privilege to witness that glorious day. Thank you and God bless us all. We, the Missionary Sisters of the Queen of the Apostles, known as SRA, take active part in the mission of the Church. Evangelization is the main charism of our congregation. Therefore, every service we undertake in the Church or in the society are as a preparation for the evangelization. In connection with the pastoral ministry, the services we carry out in the church are active participation in the basic Christian community, teaching catechism for the children and adults, sacristy services, family visits, preparing the children for the first Holy Communion and Confirmation, accompanying the youth in their faith formation, conducting YCS and ICYM programs, attending Jeevan Jyoti camps to prepare the youth to guide them choose their further career, family counseling, sisters engaged in word and in action in Vincent de Paul organizations, training the altar boys, youth ministry, preparing the couple for the sacrament of matrimony, interreligious dialogue to build up communal peace. Thus, sisters actively mobilize themselves in the prophetic role of the church and of the congregation.
Gomez are inspired by our founder, Father Antonius Maria Bordi, who had a great vision to evangelize India. He said, do not remain seated in your houses, but go out into the huts, into the streets, to the lanes and proclaim the gospel of Jesus. In Mangalore province, we have five main social service centers. Dharma Jyoti Social Center, Vamanjur in Mangalore Diocese, St. Ignatius Health and Education Center, Honavar in Karwar Diocese, Pragati Social Center, Kanapur in Belgaum Diocese, Sneha Jyoti Social Center, Sarab in Shumaka Diocese, and Deepalaya Center, Bidar in Gulbarga Diocese. Through our social ministry, at present, there are 2,200 poor children who are enrolled in child sponsorship program. They are supported for their education. There are 150 self-help groups for women. We empower them through various community outreach programs, such as health awareness, medical camps, career guidance, and counseling. Many are trained in vocational courses, and through internal loans, they are self-employed. Public awareness and education has been our main focus. Thus, we work in 300 villages and 200 parishes. We have been instrumental to ease the pain during the flood breakups and COVID-19 crisis. 100 families were financially supported and 900 families are provided with groceries, household articles, school requirements and awareness programs. More than 2,000 families are provided with groceries and sanitizers towards COVID-19 pandemic. Along with social work, the spiritual needs of the families are taken care. Thus, we work for the integral development of the families. We thank all our donors and well-wishers for their kind support and encouragement. We'll be his gentle hands and in the field of education. Education is a powerful means for evangelization. We the SRA educators carry the flame of the vision of our founder, Father Antonius Maria Bordwick, to the remotest areas of the province and share the good news to all the sections of the society. Not long past that we have entered in the field of education. Today, we have made a quick progress. We have nine SRA institutions to impart the value-based quality education to all the categories of the society catering especially to the girl child. We have in our institutions CBSC and state syllabus and medium of instruction is in English and Kannada. Our institutions are Amarajyoti High School and Composite PU College at Sarat Shomoka Maria Kripa Pre-Primary and Deepalaya CBSE School at Sampur Gidal, Vidya Jyoti Pre-Primary Primary High School at Vamanjur, Mangalore, Premanjari Kannada Medium High School at Ujini Gidal, Holy Rosary Pre-Primary Lower Primary School at Mandarin, Goa, St. Joseph's Pre-Primary Primary School at Mansapur, Belgaum. Our SRA play homes are at Herbagori, Bangalore, Kanapur, Belgaum, Agra, Mangalore. We render service in four diocesan area schools at Wamanjur, 
Kanapur, Agra, and Kolhapur. SRE educators present also spelled in five diocesan and unaided schools: Mount Rosary High School, Kalyanpur, Lamdan, Manipur, Sorab, Shomoga, Sanpur, Bidar, Agra, Mangalore. Through the Education Ministry, we SRS work tirelessly towards the character formation of the student and empower the students to face the world with all their capacities and to awaken their thirst for creating a world where all can be able to live with peace and harmony. represent my province in the healing ministry of our Lord Jesus. We the medical sisters of our province take active part in the healing, compassionate works of our Lord Jesus. We have a good number of dispensaries, daycare centers, one general hospital at Kalyanpur, Urfi Diocese, one multi-specialist hospital at Hanawar, Karwal Diocese, where we not only take care of the patients, but also help the young girls by educating them in our institutions through various courses like general nursing, BSc nursing, PCBSc, BSS training and so on at a low cost, which helps the girls to help themselves and their families too. In addition to these, our congregation takes care of the geriatric patients for whom no one takes care and also cater to the senior citizens who can afford to maintain themselves. I am happy to state that we have a palliative care center at Kalampur for the cancer patients free of cost and a home for the emotionally and mentally challenged patients at Honawar. By and large, our main motto in healing ministry is to continue the mission of the Lord in a given situation to bring out a holistic health for the whole humankind.
Consecrate life is deeply rooted in the life, example and teaching of Jesus Christ. In the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 3, verse 14, we read that Jesus appointed twelve, that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach. The disciples are called to be with Jesus, to grow in personal relationship with him, and to carry out his mission in the world. Formation is a call to continuous growth towards wholeness and holiness which involves a lifelong process of transformation within and without. Formation has a special role to play in the consecrated life. Each formi makes effort to lay strong foundation in the initial stages of formation. The future of the congregation and its fidelity to its mission depends on the choice of good members and the quality of their formation. The biblical call narratives are guidelines for our formation. We require formation to become gospel witnesses. Jesus is the one who formed disciples by being an excellent formator. Holy Spirit, the agent, guides the formation. Mother Mary, our mentor, constantly accompanies us in our formation who is the patroness of our congregation. I feel privileged to speak on religious formation. The longer experience of being as formation coordinator of province, we need to strive towards self-transformation by being Christ-centered and carrying out his public ministry. Therefore, we attend to our formies at different levels of formation candidature in our respective province, common orientation program at Igatpuri, pre-novitiate in Goa, and the novitiate at Omanjuru, Mangalore Diocese. We have 18 young energetic novices whom we remain grateful for their ready response and the willingness to do any sort of mission. They radiate joy around us by spending quality time in prayer work and study. We prepare them for the future mission to continue as per our charism. And the aim of our founder was that his followers should be drawn into the life and mission of Jesus Christ and share to the mankind the good news, the compassion and love of the Father. Colorful memories of the past with gratitude to God Almighty run down through the pages of the history growth and development of our congregation. We thank our God and salute our founder and the pioneers for the rich inheritance they have left behind us. We gratefully remember each one of them for giving us a mission to reach out to the far and wide ways to the humanity. With the different works of mercy and proclamation, our sisters have engaged themselves in educating caring and serving the most vulnerable sections of the society. Our sisters work with much zeal and enthusiasm to witness Christ. According to the felt needs of the time, we venture into the new ministries and places and work with passion for Christ. In an act of surrender, we bow before our God Almighty for His gracious presence throughout the fall and rise of our mission in the world. We thank God for the good and holy occasion He has given us and we look forward to continue the mission of the church. Under the patroness of Mary, Queen of the Apostles, we surrender to the will of God, our mission and our life. ¡Viva!
our strength, our hope in strength. 